Hey, hey, guys! So it's John here. You're watching the Super Awesome Geek Show, and I have a box to unbox. And uh, just to give you an idea, I know there's G.I. Joe inside this box, so we're going to check them out. We got a couple of Crimson Guards to go along with this. And um, the other interesting things that came in today, Jinx has shown up. Jinx is awesome. I love this character so much. Jinx has a, a, a little staff weapon here, painted nails, some traditional Japanese boots, booties. She's the ninja. Comes with a backpack with two swords, two katanas in it. And one thing you always want to look at when you're getting Jinx is check out the... Uh, dragon emblem on her chest and make sure that's not worn away that oftentimes will be the first thing to wear away and disappear and then the belt around her waist the black belt tied onto her waist the paint will rub off that and then of course the feet and hands some of the paint will rub off so make sure you check those points when you're looking for jinx she's an expensive figure complete with everything Right now in uh, 2022, probably run you close to $50, $60. Um, so you really got to hunt for a bargain. I also got Jinx's um, file card here. Really cool. Her name is Top Secret. No one can know her name. Intelligence. He was a finance clerk. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Three forms of martial arts from the time she was seven until she graduated from Bern Mar. When she arrived in Japan, she discovered her family had been ninjas for generations and was officially initiated into the clan. And Jinx was recruited for the Joe team by Snake Eyes. Pretty cool. Really awesome. The eye that pierces, the iron hand, and the heart that walt that waits, heart that waits. She can see through your deception. Pretty cool. And then I also, so previously I had only had Mutt in this form here. Really nice figure, very stiff, perfect. But he had the wrong gun. This isn't supposed to be the green. It's, it, it's the right gun, but it's not supposed to be green. It's supposed to be black. Well, I now have his correct weapon. The black version of that gun. And I have his dog uh, training stick showed up. So we can put that in his hand. Eh, maybe. Maybe we'll put it around his wait, wait, his wrist or something. Let's see this. Let's see if we can do that. Yeah, we'll do that, and then um, and then he can hang on to because we got mutt or junkyard. Yes, finally have junkyard, and we got the strap for him really cool so we could actually put him hanging onto that strap that might be better so cool let's do it back there there we go so yeah, we got a couple of Crimson Guards that came in, and we finished up uh, Mutt and Junkyard here, and Jinx is a new addition to the team, so really cool. And we got Dog Handler Mutt's file card, Stanley Pearl Mutter, Dog's name Junkyard, Dog Handler Infantry from New Jersey. Mutt's a natural with animals. He likes them and they like him back. 
Problem is, he gets along better with dogs than he does with humans. <laughs> he graduated jungle warfare training. Qualified expert in the M16, M14, M1911, A1, and the auto pistol Mac 11. Pretty cool. I always like it when I'm able to get the uh, file cards with some of the figures. So that basically completed his equipment. So it was a really good find to get that because it was exactly what I needed, which was the file card, the dog, the leash, the gun, and the little uh, training stick because I already had the helmet and the muzzle. So it really worked out well that to get him complete. All right, let's open the box and find out what's inside because you guys are going to like this. And that's where we're going to need these Cobra uh, Crimson Guard guys. So we'll put them to the side. We'll get this box open and start checking this thing out. Now, I, I know what's in here, but I just hope that it's... This is one of those vehicles that you almost don't want to buy without having it in your hand because there can be a number of things wrong with this and it um i'm gonna i'm gonna put the box down on the bottom here and it really could he did a great job packing this by the way like let me show you this look at that it's got packing peanuts in there and bubble bubble wrap holding it all in place I'm dumping peanuts everywhere but um he did a great job packing this up collectors selling to collectors collectors really know how to pack stuff up you know all right i didn't realize it was coming with a another top secret dispatch so <laughs> we, i keep getting these i got like two or three of them now so Pretty cool. I love these mailer weight, these mailer order inserts. So this is a really nice, in really good shape too. But here we go. This is it, the Cobra Stun. That's what's in the box. My brother had this when we were kids, and I have been wanting to get one for years now because I remember playing with this with my. I remember playing with my brother's Cobra Stun. And it's right up there with the Hiss Tank for me. This is like second Cobra vehicle of all time. Most iconic um, of the vehicles. The You know, the Hiss Tank will always be the number one Cobra vehicle for me. Actually, pretty much my number one G.I. Joe vehicle, really. I've got, I mean, I've got six or seven Hiss Tanks just because I love them so much. Um, through the years, um, different versions that I picked up. But this Cobra Stun is right up there as one of the great vehicles. Really cool. And the instructions here show you how to do the wheels. Mm, sorry there, pardon, sorry. Show you how to do the wheels. And this, these instructions here, they just show you how to do the wheels. Put the body on, slap the hubcaps on, installing and putting the gun turrets, the front end of, together, clipping it into the vehicle itself. The uh, flags, some engine covers, and there's a machine gun for the rear. And then where you can put your figures. There's a spot in the back for a guy. There's a driver in the middle, two guys up front, and you've got six pegs, three on each side to carry troops. And then they have the placement of the stickers here on the bottom. And you should have a Motor Viper with this, the Cobra Motor Viper, right? Yeah, see the Motor Viper at the controls. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. He should be in the box, the Motor Viper. This was, as far as I know, this was complete. But um, it's got, there is a flaw, the, um, the flag posts were broken 
And that's why I managed to get this for so cheap. I got this for a deep, deep discount. And I'm very happy with this uh, arrangement. Because like I said, I've been wanting one of these for a long time. And part of the deal was that these... Um, the um, flags are broken. But I wanted to take that risk and see if I can repair them. Because I'm wondering if... If I can just... What the crap, man? Is there... Like, did he glue this together? Like, how come I can't get this apart? There we go. Keep that for a figure. Can you use that? Yeah, these flags. So the flag posts, very, very brittle. These are the pieces that always break on you. And I'm just wondering if I can actually glue or do something to sort of put that together in a way that might just work. And then I'd have to stick this one on here and maybe make that work somehow. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this one all the way together because it's supposed to be like, like that. And that would require two gluings and I don't know if I can glue there and there and then this one would be glued together like that very difficult to fix these but I took the risk and wanted to try fixing them because I like I said it, it, it allowed me to get it for real cheap if you if you have the if these are intact with this stun you're you could be up around a hundred dollars for this vehicle complete with these flags complete um so i took a risk here like i said got it for a pretty good deal um because we knew that the flags were broken and um i wanted to just see if i could repair them so here is the file card for the driver the Motor Viper, Cobra Stun Pilot. So you could have multiples of these guys. Uh, Motor Viper is just a generic trooper. So we could have we could have many of these if you wanted in your army. So here he is. I think I actually have one of these already. So if I have, I'll have to dig through my GI Joes when I set this all up. Cause I might have one more of these and then I could put them both on this stun. But really good figure, really cool. It's got this helmet with a, vi with a silver visor, hoses and straps all over, a little Chevron V symbol there. He didn't have any equipment, two pistols in these uh, holsters on his side, but I mean, it really, he didn't come with any equipment. And this one looks really nice. This is in good shape. I mean, none of the paint's really worn off here. Sometimes the visor has paint rubbed off, um, the guns, of course. So he's in really good shape comparatively. A lot of times, for some reason, you'll see a discoloration where the legs meet the hip. It'll be like turning greenish brown or so. And uh, so there's not a lot of discoloration. There's a little bit here, but not a lot. Not Nothing I would really complain about, you know. Really good looking there. Let's unwrap this vehicle the rest of the way. He did a great job packing this up, you know? Like we were saying, buy off a fellow collector and you get one. I mean, look at that. He even put foam around the, the weapons here so that 
there's foam holding everything in place so it wouldn't move and bend and risk breaking during the transfer. This guy did a great job. Look at that foam on the back here. Wow, this, this is impressive work for uh, putting this thing together to keep it packed well. Amazing. Really good job there. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm happy already, I can tell. So one thing that can happen is these get really loose and they'll flop down. So sometimes, if you see a photo like that, ask them if he can take a picture of it like that. Because these will often just flop down and it makes it hard to display and keep figures in because they'll be in there, you know, falling forward. So this is really nice that it's actually holding up. It's staying in this position. A lot of times these hubcaps will also just fall off. So it's good that that is... Um, you know, they're staying in their correct position. Everything looks really nice here. Really good. The decals look good. The engine compartments are nice. Look at that. Wow, this was really well worth it. I am very happy. Wow. And now these will open up so that you can shoot in two different directions. And sometimes these will be very floppy as well, going this direction. So this one is, is pretty much mint. I am very, very happy with this one. So yeah, if I can fix these, these would these would attach right here. If I can get those fixed, um, We'd be very, we'll be very happy with that. Wow, really cool. So we can put our driver up here. We can put him up here, put his hands on the pegs here. And then we can put our, we could put Crimson Guards in the front here. These troopers can stay in the front and be uh, manning the two turrets up front. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Do we have someone for the back? We need a, a gunner, a gunner right here. Let's see what we got. So I did have a couple other Cobra figures handy. We've got Wild Weasel of the uh, Rattler. So he can kind of go, how about we'll set him back here, man in this gun. And then we have a Strato Viper from the Raven. I mean, we could just put him sitting right here next to him. You know, he can be like, hey, I'm going to hang out in this chair right next to you. <laughs> Neat. Awesome. Wow. Yeah, this is a great vehicle. I'm very, very happy with this. Really pleased. We'll just see if I can fix those flags. And uh, even if I can't, I mean, it's a very good vehicle with it, without the flag. I mean, the flags would just stick up here. But even if I can't fix them, they're pretty... It's still pretty cool to have this just the way it is. It's in really good shape. And maybe somewhere down the road I can find some complete flags and, and you know, stuck them in there. Awesome.
Cool. So there's today's haul. We got three, three more file cards. We got Jinx. And we finished up Mutt and Junkyard with all their proper equipment. And uh, added this Cobra Stun to our arsenal, to our G.I. Joe vehicle run. Cobra's got a new vehicle to sit in their, in their army. Love to get a second one of these. I wouldn't mind having two of them. Since I have an army of his tanks, why not have an army of stuns as well? <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Let's put uh, Junkyard over here. Awesome. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at these with me. This very cool vehicle and these awesome figures. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm John. I'm out of here, and I'll talk to you on the next one. See you.